Enterprise IT interview questions. When do you use a NAT versus when do you use a router? Managing IT means knowing which device to use in which scenario. And the difference between a switch, a NAT, and a router gets blurred in small networks because most of the time you don't need multiple devices in order to make the network work. Or you're simply using a switch to expand a network. Routers and NATs can be the same physical device, so they get used in this question more often than some of the other comparisons. NAT does network address translation. It allows you to map several devices onto a single IP address to connect to the network. Now, the most common use for this is that you are setting up a home network and you need the six computers that you have your home to share the single IP address that was given to you by the cable modem. The same is true in the corporate world. The thousand employees probably share one IP address to go out to the internet and that's handled through NAT in most cases. Where routes come into play is when you need to move data from one network to another network or change address ranges. So by using a, rat, uh, a router, you say all traffic from 192.168.1 is going to be forwarded to 10.10.1. And so you can connect two networks that ha over a physical path, or you can set a range of IP addresses to be passed and that data will simply move across the network in the, that way. This allows you to bridge several networks to each other even if they're in different address ranges or but are still addressable by the address that they were given as opposed to when you talk to the public network and you say go out to the public network and then the routes will be handled from that but the internal traffic only hits that single IP address and then gets doled out to multiple IPs in the range. So the internet doesn't address the individual nodes of your network by their original IP address. If you didn't understand any of that, I apologize. NATs and routes can be a little confusing, but the real core of the issue is a NAT works as an intermediary and all of the traffic from one side of it addresses the objects on the other side of it through the same IP address. So you say, hey, I've got a message for Bill, please give it to him. Except that you don't really do that. You say, hey, you asked for this file. The, God, the NAT says, oh yeah, the only person that would have asked for that particular thing was Bill. I'll go give that to him. In a route, you say, and you do have a system where you say, hey, I've got a message for Bill, and the router passes it to Bill and doesn't have to keep track of who the pending requests were from or who has made requests.